قل هذه سبيلي أدعو إلى الله على بصيرة أنا ومن اتبعني وسبحان الله وما أنا من المشرك الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين All praises for Allah alone and may his peace and blessings be upon all of his family and companions As to what follows, in this brief introduction I would just like to talk a little bit about the virtues of one of the greatest acts of worship to Allah Azza wa which is Hajj. And Hajj, it means that one should make the pilgrimage that Allah Azza wa has legislated to the house that Ibrahim السلام, built in Mecca and perform the rites that are connected to that particular act of worship. The Prophet والسلام, mentioned in an authentic hadith that he told us, والسلام, Bunyan Islam ala khams. He said that Islam is built on five, and five meaning here five pillars. Shahada to Allah ilaha illallah. The first of them is the shahada, the statement that there is no God that deserves to be worshipped except Allah alone. Wa iqam is salah and to establish the, the prayer. Wa ita is zakah and to give the sadaqah, to give the zakawat. Wa tasun Ramadan and to fast the month of Ramadan. Wa hajjul bayt man istata'u ilayhi sabila. And then he said, and to to make the pilgrimage to the house, whoever can find a means and a path to get there. So Hajj is something that has a very strong and important position in an Islam. And it is only compulsory on a person once in his lifetime. The Prophet ﷺ also in encouraging us and showing us the benefits of Hajj, he told us that Al-Hajj al-Mabrur, he said that an accepted Hajj, لَيْسَ لَهُ الْجَزَاءِ إِلَّا الْجَنَّةِ He said that an accepted Hajj, a Hajj that is accepted by him, Azza wa Jal, in which a person does not do anything that is illicit. He does not try to fornicate or he does not insult people. He does not fight and quarrel. Then the reward for that kind of Hajj that is perfect, that is perfect in the eyes of Allah Azza wa Jal, is that a person by that will inherit and will gain the reward of Jannah, which is the greatest reward that every Muslim or Muslim can hope to attain. So therefore, brothers and sisters in Islam, a person should try his best to make this act of worship. And Allah Azza wa has made it easy by mentioning and stipulating a condition for Hajj for the one who is able to go. So therefore, the man who has wealth and he's able to pay for his way to get to Hajj, then he should not hesitate to make this act of worship. And the woman that has the ability to go, and for her, the ability to go means that she not only has the wealth and the means to go, but she must also find a mahram to accompany her because that is one of the conditions for her going to make the hajj because it requires traveling and a journey and so therefore she needs to have a mahram. So we ask Allah Azza wa Jal in these blessed days that He make it easy for all of those who have the intention to make hajj, that He makes it possible for them to find a way to go and that He accepts from them and He makes it a complete and accepted hajj. Wallahu alam. وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين